Hey, Aaron here. We're continuing the series on bridge development with Unity. Last time we talked about the mixed reality sample, and this time we're gonna get started from a blank project. Add all the Google VR bits, add bridge engine, then pull a scan into Unity, dress it up, and run locked to our actual physical space. All right, let's get started. Open up Unity and create a new project. Let's call it Awesome, because we're going to make it awesome. Open up Build Settings, click on iOS, and switch the platform. This will save us from importing all the assets a second time. Now we've got our project ready, time to go find the Bridge Engine Unity package. Double click it, click Import. Okay, Google VR is missing, so click Yes, Download. Open the player settings, go to other settings, or it's XR settings in the latest Unity releases, and look under Virtual Reality SDKs. Now add Cardboard. We have to set up a few things to make the Google VR controller system work. Look in Assets, Google VR, Prefabs, UI, and add the GVR event system prefab to your project. And now for a very important step, add a GVR pointer physics raycaster component to the GVR event system game object. This does the actual work of raycasting to objects in your scene. Finally, add the GVR reticle pointer to your main camera. This is the Google VR basic pointer that works even if you haven't connected the bridge controller. And that's it for Google VR stuff. Let's save our scene as main. Now let's add the bridge engine components. Open up the project folder, assets, bridge engine, then drag in the bridge engine main prefab. There's not much to see here yet, so click on the bridge engine main, look at the inspector and click rebuild bridge engine scene. Voila, we have a starting scene as if we scanned it in ourselves. More on that later. Let's move the main camera to a more useful starting position. Y of one and Z of negative two, this is just for us to try things with the simulator. Your real world coordinates are exactly one to one with wherever you scanned. Okay, let's play something in our environment. Look in the assets bridge example models folder and uh, drag and drop the carve side table to our scene. Add a mesh collider component to the table and turn on convex. So it's a simple convex hull collider. That's it, save again. Let's prepare to build on device. Check out the last tutorial for the whole build and setup process. We'll just skip through that here now. And... All right, put the iPhone into the bridge headset, plug in the sensor and let's scan. Once we're done scanning, we jump into the Unity scene we set up. I've really noticed that the carve side table isn't in a useful starting location. The scene we scanned is entirely different than the stock scene we started with. For this tutorial, we're actually going to take advantage of this fresh scan. We can grab the bridge engine scene using iTunes. Let's plug it. Click on the iPhone, and in the left column, open file sharing. Select awesome, and copy out the bridge engine scene to the desktop. Switch back to Unity, and look at the bridge engine main game object. Look in the inspector, and click on remove imported bridge engine scene. Then click to import bridge engine scene folder and select the bridge engine scene folder on the desktop where you just copied out. Great, now we've got our scan scene in our environment. We can now place the carved side table exactly where we want it. Build and run, replace the project, and load the scene. Okay, great, the table's in the right spot, but it's not quite awesome yet. Let's go shopping on the asset store. Search for party streamers. There's a confetti VFX and let's buy and install that. Uh, so now I want some explosion sounds. Maybe search fireworks sounds. Uh, and there's some free sound effects called free fireworks, fire FX, Nova sound. Hey, that looks promising. Let's grab that too. All right, now here's the plan. We're going to rig up the particle cannon on the carve side table. When we hover the pointer over the table and pull the trigger, boom, play the sound and particle emitters. 
Okay, activating something is going to take a bit of scripting. Create a scripts folder for a project under assets. Then create a new script called clickboom and open it up in the editor. Okay, we're gonna start off wanting some common stuff from system collections and Unity Engine event systems. For clickboom to work, we require a collider to tell if the pointer is hovering over the table. Then up, let's create a public spot for a trigger sound and add an array of particle emitters we want to play. Add a holder for the audio source and a bool for tracking when the pointer is hovering over the table. Now, on startup, we add an audio source. That plays a sound coming from the table. Then we add a couple of event triggers that watch for pointer enter and pointer exit, which basically sets the hovering to true whenever the pointer is hovering over the table. And we add a button event listener on the bridge engine on controller button event. And the on button event watches for the primary button down and if we're hovering, plays the sound in all the particle emitters. Right, let's go back to Unity and add the click boom script to our carved side table. Let's browse to the free fireworks folder and let's use the deep fireworks Nova sound for our trigger sound. Now add the particle cannon to the scene. Let's look under Luke Peak, VFX Confetti Prefaz Cannon with Ribbon. I'll use the uh, confetti cannon ribbon shapes here. You'll have to mess around, adjusting the particle emitter to a good speed and size that fits the room. I turned off looping and play and wake because we'll uh, play it with our script. Click back to the car side table and add all the emitters to the click boom emitters array. Hit play in the simulator and test it, it all works. Okay, looks good. Now build and run. Awesome, it works. If you'd like to get the click boom script and carve side table already rigged up, you can grab the awesome Unity package at digitaldojo.org slash bridge dash unity dash two. For this tutorial, I wanted to introduce grabbing materials from the asset store. I have no affiliation with Luke Peak nor Nova Sound, so apologies if you'd rather not buy the Confetti VFX. But I think his kit's pretty awesome. You can always create any old particle system you like and hook that up instead. I want to thank Excipital for their collaboration and sponsorship of this video. I hope you enjoy this Steampunk Digital Dojo video on Bridge and as always, dream big, dream digital.